So you want to get an S650 Mustang, but you don't want to pay the marker? Well, today I've got some really good news for you. Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 -0. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to completely avoid markups on the S650 Mustang. Not only would you be able to avoid the markups, you will actually get to save money compared to paying the MSRPs for the Mustang. Now what I'm saying may sound like a fantasy to you given the crazy market we've had these past couple years where you could barely get any allocations on any car, even the regular Mustang GT and the Mustang EcoBoost, but I'm finally glad that's not going to be the case for the S650 Mustang orders. And that includes the Mustang EcoBoost, the GT, and the Mustang Dark Horse, which is kind of anticipated to be the, one of the hottest Mustangs out there. Now, rightfully so, you may be wondering, how do I completely avoid the markups on the S650 Mustang and actually get a discount ordering the S650 Mustang? See, the reality is the new 7th Gen Mustang is a highly anticipated product. And even pre-2020, like before the market went crazy, any hot car like the Supers came out, the C8 Corvettes came out, had huge markups. I mean, even if you were able to find one, it was hard to kind of find the dealers that were actually stocking these cars. But in order to be able to even get those, you had to pay a markup. Remember back in the back in the day, Civic Type Rs were going for like fifty thousand dollars. Now this is nothing new for the automotive industry because any hot product that comes out, people are willing to pay for it, and rightfully so, the dealers want to kind of mark it up and make some extra profit. However, this one dealer has come out and they said they are not going to be marking up any of the S650 Mustangs because they truly believe in relationship building. Now, of course, the dealer has to make some money, so it's not like they're going to be giving you $10,000 off on the Mustang, but you will actually be avoiding all the markups and actually get some discounts on the Mustang GTs and the EcoBoost. So the dealer that I'm mentioning is actually Granger Ford located in Iowa, and I'm actually nowhere near Iowa or have bought any cars from this dealer, but I feel like I had to kind of put this out there to recognize the effort that this dealer is going through, especially in this crazy market where they can, if they wanted to, mark up the price, sell it at MSRP, charge five ten thousand dollars extra for the new 7th gen Mustang, and there will be people lined up to pay for it. I won't be one of them, I probably most of you won't be one of them, but there are people who are able to and can and willing to pay the markups on these kind of cars. So Granger Ford decided not to charge markups on these vehicles and actually support the customers and being able to kind of offer them at MSRP or a discount rate. So while the order dates haven't really started for the Mustang, they said if you are looking for a Mustang GT or a Mustang EcoBoost, you're going to be able to get them 2% under invoice, not MSRP, but actually under invoice. So that will represent, depending on what trim level you're getting, close to three dollars $4,000 in savings compared to paying MSRP for the 7th Gen 2024 Mustang. And that sounds crazy to me because I've been at my local Ford dealer multiple times where I'm just kind of browsing around and just kind of ask for prices or just look at window stickers. All the Mustang GTs and EcoBoost are going for MSRP, which is kind of crazy because the platform has been eight years old at this point. The S550 has been out since 2015. So the platform is no longer in, you know, hot demand or whatever but they're still able to charge MSRP and get away with it. There's still people buying these cars. So being able to get 2% less than invoice is a pretty good steal in my opinion. I will link their website in the description so you can actually contact them if you're interested in buying one of the new S650 Mustangs. Now you may be wondering, what about the Mustang Dark Horse? Because historically, the Shelby GT500, Shelby GT350, the Mustang Mach 1, they've all seen some crazy markups where they were pretty much unattainable for regular average Joe like us. While the MSRPs on these vehicles represent a pretty good value, basically the GT500 came out at $70,000, uh, Mustang Mach 1 was at $56,000, so all things considered, they're pretty good value in terms of what you get with these cars, but with these crazy markups, the performance to dollar ratio kind of goes away with that. So for the Mustang Dark Horse actually, they came out and they said they're going to be doing MSRP flat. Guys, we know how anticipated the Mustang Dark Horse has been since its launch. Everyone's talking about it, especially getting a Tremec manual transmission, 500 horsepower coming from the Gen 4 revised Coyote motor, getting parts from Shelby GT500 and GT350. It's been one of those cars that are everyone's kind of looking out for them. They want it. Any Ford dealer can probably get away with charging a marker with a car like that because one, the market is pretty even screwed up right now in terms of supply and demand. And it's a brand new generation for the Mustang. So people are willing to be the first one in the block and pay a little bit extra to get that. However, Granger Ford said they're going to be selling the Dark Horse allocations at MSRP. So we don't know what the MSRP is going to be, obviously. We're probably going to see a price increase for the six 
for the 7th Gen Mustang. But if we had to kind of ballpark if the Mustang Mach 1 is 56000 and some change, I would probably guess that Mustang Darko is going to come around $60,000 MSRP, which in my opinion, if you want to get the 7th Gen Mustang, you want to get the Dark Horse, and you want to avoid paying all these markups, Granger Ford might be the one you want to call. Again, I'm, I'm not affiliated with this dealership. I haven't bought any car from them, but I, but I just feel like I need to kind of put it out there for people who are wanting to get the S650 Mustang because that's something, especially in this crazy market where they can choose to make a profit and rip people off, they're choosing not to do so. And I know many of you are kind of patiently waiting from your local leaders just to hear more about the order allocation and all of that. So that might be something you can kind of negotiate against with your local dealer and see what Granger Ford is offering you versus your local Ford dealer. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that like button. Comment below on your guesses of what the prices of the 7th Gen Mustang is going to be. And as always, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.